top of the time zone to you. This is Freddie J with Freddie J Sports, and we're back with some more PGA Tour 2K23. We're currently tied for 10th, heading into the final round of the TPC Deer Run. The Corn Ferry Tour opener. We just recently just paid our third round, and pretty much we just broke even. We didn't really, we made birdies, but we made the same amount of bogeys as well. 17 strokes behind the leader. We're not going to catch them, but we're going to at least try to make it into the top five. But we need a hell of a run. So let's go ahead and get going. Before we actually get started, we're going to do one quick thing real quick. So we'll be right back. All right, so we did some fittings. I'll spare you the details about it, but we're gonna go ahead and get back. As we can see, the first two rounds, we made two under. This last round we just had went even par. We're gonna try to finish this one off as best as we can. And top of the time zone, folks, this is Freddie J here with Freddie J Sports. Welcome to the Corn Ferry Tour opener. This is the final round here at TPC Deer Run. Let's get underway. This is the final round for Freddy here. That's also me. Currently inside the top 10, so let's hopefully get something done here and at least make it a little bit interesting. That is not interesting at all. Four. Well, this is interesting in regards of, let's see how he can recover from this, because my goodness, that is going to be a pain. That one's a bit slow. That took a lot of yardage. That's going to skirt right by. This is going to be for par now. And this one's not one to play with. But we clean it up. We had a lot of pars last round. This time we're going to try to go for some birdies. As Michael O'Connor is 21 under. And they have yet to tee off. Meanwhile, we're at our second of par five, talking to my caddy here. And that one's this time slow, so it's a very inconsistent read here. And we are indeed into the thick of it. That's a dangerous play. Oh my goodness, by the skin of our teeth. And that tiptoes on, but it's right by the flag. We can see the shadow. What a miraculous save right there. That could have ended nasty, too. This is, indeed, for birdie. This is 10 feet. With the way this has been breaking lately, anything can happen. And it goes in! We were scared about that speed, but it did drop down. Five under for the tournament.
That's going to move us all alone in ninth through two. And now a par three to possibly take this away. I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm going to club up right here. There's no reason for me to club up besides, you know, because listen, like, look at this. It's 35 foot feet up. You got the wind pushing the ball. And that one's a slow. And that one's still going to be short. So maybe we needed two clubs up. Honestly. Oh my goodness, that was a horrible shot. Looks like we're going to lose our... Uh... Looks like we're going to lose on that one. Well, looks like that birdie just got erased. Maybe be worse if we don't make this one. That was a big sigh of relief right there. So we're back to four under. Still now tied for ninth. All right, let's shake that one off and try again. That tempo is going to be something that's going to just be something we're going to fight with. I said a lot of somethings there, and we did not hit the hill like we wanted to. So that one's going to land in the rough. I'm not playing around with this. I'm hitting a 9 iron. Look at this slant. Think I'm playing around with that? Absolutely not. Four! Oh my goodness, it almost hit somebody in the head. This is ending up to be a terrible round so far. We had one good birdie and then it just went went to crap pretty fast. It was on the green, and then it rolled off, and now this is for par. Another bogey. That's not what we wanted. And now it's the fifth. We're honestly running out of time here to make something happen. Going with the three wood. That sounded good, but according to that, it was slow. And I don't know. We probably need to go do some more fittings. The pin location is going to be very difficult today. Look at how that is protected by the bunkers. And we haven't had a decent shot yet. That one's a bit decent. Let's see if it actually stays on and rolls down. There was no roll backwards on that. And so that's just going to be a tough putt. This is 27 feet. That one's tracking, and it will kiss the rim and fly back into the rough. Everyone's cheering, but that's a bogey. Three bogeys in a row. So far, a nightmare start. That sends us back tied to 13th. All right. 
Here we are at the six. Hopefully, we're just trying to get this to turn around, and this one might crash way too hard into the rough. And that was with the three wood, so you're, you're just stumped right now. Obviously, good club selection. That's still going to be a bit of a... Oh, no, it's turning back. It's running away. Oh, man, that's going to be rough. 30 feet. This is not going to be a fun hole. Well, it went up the hill. Or par. Gets it done. <sighs> and now another par three. We've been trying to play this par three for so much. We're going to go for it here. That one is a slow, and it somehow punishes us very much. And yeah, we're 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 toast. Simply toast. That was a terrible shot. And that one's gonna fly by. And now this is a long putt for Bodie. It goes down. Everything we've worked for the past three rounds is falling apart right now. Nothing is going our way. We've been top 10. And we finally get our perfect that we were looking for. Yeah. That's probably the best we've gotten so far. That's probably our best approach, but that's still running away from the hole. Looks like it's a bit calm here. Finally, a birdie! Slowly getting back on the right track, but that's just one birdie. We need to make more. And that is not going to help. We sliced that one into the deep rough, probably. I see if it stops soon enough. It is flirting with that edge. We're, we barely got it off, but it's there. Second shot, 195. And that one is not going on the green. Better hope this tree hits something. We're on the cart path. The slightest amount of backspin. And now this is for par. Ooh. 
We cleaned it up. That was a good read. Here we are at the back nine. This is our final chance to do something here. Sorry, I was a little bit quiet right there. And that one just barely misses the fairway. Luckily, this is a par five, but honestly, I, I, I'm, I've been thinking about laying it up. That might actually have been a great spot. As long as it doesn't roll too far down the hill. Great spot right there. Now we're going to creep this one on. What a shot! Alright. Let's make this birdie. Gets it done. All right, we're slowly getting back up from that terrible start. Back to three under. Now with seven, eight holes remaining. Michael O'Connor is running away with this one. No one is catching him. I'm going to opt for the three wood here because uh, that is way too far. We have a little bit of forgiveness right there, so that might stay in play as long as it doesn't bounce too far. We was looking at that roll and I was like, yeah, I don't trust myself to get that, you know, the stay in the fairway. So let's not. Hundred and fifty one yards. I'm going with the nine iron here because uh it's downhill. I put some loft on it. And I think that's gonna stay in play. It might land directly in the sand though. Yep, it did. It was gonna be one of those days, huh? Oh, man. That was embarrassing. And that's going to roll right by. Man, we, we just blew that one. It's not over yet. We need to make this 16-foot putt. Break? Oh, what a heartbreak. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Well, there goes our run. We changed up our fittings, and it looks like it made us worse instead of better. We're on, but not close to the hole. This is going to be for birdie, though, so that's... One thing, 20 foot. Let's see if it breaks. We just barely miss it. 
That is truly unfortunate right there. You hate to see it. Will we be back in the top 10? That's the question on my mind. That's on the fairway, but uh, I'm just saying we could do better. 309. Stops right on target. This one should be an easier one than the before. It's 11 feet, not a lot of break. Goes down. That's our second birdie on the back nine. All right, now... It's time for all or nothing here. Gonna aim directly for that bunker. Is it gonna carry? And it will. See if it stays in play. Slowing down, it is gonna be finally on the fairway. Very slow. That's not even going to get it. See, the last few times it's been very fast, and so with that, yeah, just poorly gauged right there. 30 to the pin. Oh, that had a chance to drop. That would be a nice tap in for par. Four more holes remaining. Tied for 16th. Question is, can we get back to at least four under? It's going to take a lot, but uh, anything's possible. This one's a 453 yards here. That one's fast, and this one's... Hunting towards the left side. This might roll. Let's see how bad this rolls. Like, if it gets to a certain point, if you hit it 330 yards and it just misses the fairway, I think that I will be okay with that. With the pitching wedge. This one's 137 yards out. He's going to ask for this one to trickle. There was no bounce on that, so that's going to be a long putt. And long it is. This is 43 feet. You're asking for more than an inch. And you have to give a mile. That one's a good line. It's hunting. What a run! What a putt! That is huge right there. 43 feet and drains it for the first time all round. We're going to get a replay too. That was huge. Look at this. Outstanding. Beautiful. And that's what we do on Freddy J Sports. <sighs> After that, we move back to three under. And now it's a par three. We're going to hope that this one doesn't take it away. 
We got a nice comfortable nine iron here. You think the crowd's gonna go nuts when we hit this? The crowd is not. The crowd does not care. We're not even part of the leaderboard. I mean, we'll be fortunate enough we hit this, but let's be real. Look at that. That's not even going. That might be out of bounds, honestly. Yeah, that was a horrible shot. What the cheese? Yeah, our, our round is done. Our round is definitely done. We're so done. We just had a great opportunity had a great run and now we're going to be over for the first time yeah we were that was horrible well well, it looks like the rest of this video is going to be kind of grim because, like, no matter what happens here, we're, we're not getting... Now it's just, can we finish the, the round in even par? I mean, we do have a par 5. Just the question is... Are we going to hit it? In? Well, that's just great. It was a perfect, and it perfectly landed in the bunker. I think I'm going to run a splash shot out here. Well, this is for birdie, and it's 29 feet. Welp. Can't catch them all. So far, we probably had maybe like one medium okay putt. And everything else has just been eh. All right, final hole. It really doesn't matter here, so just just hit it anywhere. Yeah, the sixteenth right there spoiled our entire mood because we was literally looking at a great run, and it just went to bed. I don't believe it's that slow to punish us like that. Well. Oh, 
All right, let's get out of here. All right, um, let's think positive thoughts about that. We finished. That's our positive thought. Um, truly disappointed in that. Really was hoping for more out of this round. But yeah, the 16th really killed us. There was plenty of, like, the front nine killed us. Then the 16th broke our hearts, and, uh, yeah. Well, well congratulations to Michael O'Connor, but no one really cares. Our sponsorship's good. Oh, that's why I didn't change clubs, because, uh, I had a sponsorship. Well, that'll do it. Appreciate everybody for coming by. And until next time... Oh. It's Ben Hogan. We at Ben Hogan have been following your achievements and are impressed with your dedication and passion for golf. We believe that you and our club sponsorship make a perfect match. What do you say? You're about to end a contract with... Oh. Oh, looks like we're getting a Nike apparel. All right. Yeah, let's get some balls. Hell yeah. All right. Looks like we got some new sponsors despite our efforts. Our, uh our breakdown from that tournament so i guess that's good but hey thank you so much for everybody for coming by we're gonna have some more golf coming up next time we're gonna be at the grayson classic at thieves landing uh we played thieves landing before and let me tell you i was not a happy camper playing that some of these custom courses really be unforgiving for young golfers but thank you so much for everybody for coming by. And as always, I'm Pretty J. Y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow. Until next time, we'll see you.